Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use both the freestyle command and also the pivot as well. And real quick guys, if you're interested in learning plasticity, I've got a new course on Udemy. Link is in the description, it's the first one there. I've got tree cutting mechs, I've got SMGs, I've got dark energy swords, I've got spider drones and much more content on the way. There's about 30 hours of content right now and more is being added weekly. So why would you want to use this? Well, let's say for example, I create this corner box right here. All right, so if I select this and I move it, you can see how the gizmo by default is in the center. So if I move this on the X axis, for example, I can now hold control to snap it. And that's gonna snap the pivot to the, uh, to the Y axis, I should say, right? You can see it snapped right there. But let's say I want to snap, I wanna move this object, but I wanna snap it so that this face is aligned with the Y axis. So you know, I press G, I press uh, X, and I kind of just do that, but you can see the faces here on the left. So this is where being able to create a quick custom pivot comes in handy. And it's as simple as pressing a single hotkey. So I press G for move. You can see V for pivot. So once you press V, it now asks you to set up a pivot right here. And this is a very uh, fun, smart system that can take care of, I would say, most of your problems. So I put that pivot right here. And now notice how though it's the Z axis. So I press Z. I hold control to activate snapping. Snap right there. You can now see we've moved the whole object, but we snapped it so that this left face is aligned with the Y axis. Now, of course, this is not a problem if you select the face. If I select this face and I press D to offset it, you can see how the gizmo is right here. So I hold control, that's not a problem, but it is good in many situations to set up a custom pivot. All right, let's say I've got this object right here and I go into the, uh, I create a custom plane right here and I create a, uh, Let's create a circle. All right, I'll create that right there. Alt Z for some transparency. All right, and then I've got that. And then I'm going to shift A to create a line from here to here. All right, I'm going to isolate these two objects. I'm gonna go ahead and press T to trim. I wanna trim uh, this way right there. I'm gonna select all of these and press J to uh, join them. And then uh, I'll unhide that. All right, so. Let's say I want to go ahead and actually, so we've got this guys, but let me go ahead and create another circle right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another one right here. All right, let's say you want the circle to be more scaled kind of in this direction. Well, if I press S for scale, you can see we've got the Y. So that works, we got the X and we've got the Z, but let's say I want to have a special orientation. Well, one thing I could do is I could scale it on the Y and I could simply press a RR or in this situation, since we're using screen space plane, I will press R and just use the Z right here. So that is one option is to do that, is to kind of scale in uniform in an X axis or Y or Z and then kind of rotate it. But what I could also do is I could press S for scale, F to activate freeform. And the way this works guys is you, you select two points where we want to perform the scale operation. So let's say I'll select the, you know, this one and this one, as you can see, it now scales in the proper direction. So essentially we're creating a custom direction for it to work on. Now we've got this oval shape in the direction we want. We can select this, press C, select that. And now let's say give me the, uh, the shape that I want right here. All right, and same for this, I can select this. And if I press S to scale, you can see X is giving me this. You can see how it's kind of lopsided. It's not aligned with what I want it to be aligned with. So I'll go ahead and press S, F for freestyle and I'll select this and I'll select, uh, you know, this right here. And you can see now it's scaling like so. All right. I can also go ahead and scale, use V for pivot and set up a custom pivot like this. Now I can scale uh, like so as well. All right, I can press G to move, V for the pivot get this and now press Z. As you can see, I now have scaled it with this orientation. And I can also scale and press V again. This time I'll use X for example. You can see how it's got this kind of orientation, got that custom orientation rotation that I want. So freestyle and pivot definitely come in handy guys for getting these kind of custom orientations. All right, 
So now that I've got that, I can either fillet it or chamfer it and get the result that I want. And so you can get some very fun results that way. So uh, you know, if I if you create any kind of object here, and then you let's say rotate it, I'll just do some random uh, screen space rotation. All right, then say you want to move it according to this uh, angle. Once again, G V, select the face, and now I can move it with this orientation. Same for rotation. All right now I can kind of uh, rotate around there. Definitely, guys, this is extremely useful. Let's say, for example, that I create a, a cylinder. And let's say I create it right there. I'm going to press B for a new body. And I'm going to go ahead and move that you know, right here. And let's say I'm creating a little hinge, right? So I'm going to go ahead and kind of move this here. And I'm going to move that there, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little boolean. I'll press T for keep tools. And I'm going to scale this down just a little bit so we can see there's a kind of a difference right here. So you can see. We've got a hinge object, all right? So in fact, let me go ahead and move it a little bit more right here. Let's go with that. All right, let's say I want to rotate the box around this. So once again, R for rotate, V for pivot. Uh, let's go ahead and find the center of this cylinder right there. And now I can rotate uh, just like so, guys. So definitely this is extremely useful and it's just as simple as pressing a hotkey when you move rotate or scale so just to reiterate guys the way freestyle works is when to move one point to another so i select this i press g and i press freestyle so let's say i want to move the center of this to this center snap point right there so i'll simply click on this it's now moving everywhere we're now moving according to that first point and we can now snap it to the center uh, right there. So pivot, you create your own custom pivots. Freestyle, point to point. Snap point to snap point. So thank you for watching and take care.